Hey YouTube, uh, Vivsud here with another Minecraft Redstone video. Um, I'm gonna have to say before we start this tutorial, one, you're gonna need to be at least consider yourself intermediate redstone worker, and two, you're gonna need to watch my um, other video, the XOR redstone video. Um, it will help a, a ton if you understand the concept of the XOR circuit to show how this works. Alright, so what we're going to be making is pretty much a, a bridge that's retract, um, openable and closable, I guess. So you can get over your giant lava moat that you have surrounding your castle. Alright, so point is pretty much you're coming, open, shut the door so you can walk across, you're inside your castle, and you open it. And it's helpful if you're getting chased by like a mob, you run across, open it, and they fall in. So yeah, now I'm going to show you how to make this on another world. Um, yeah. So, a couple things you're going to... Why did I just open up the same world? <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, here we go. So, another, a couple things that you're going to need is, one, a big space to do it in. This is where I'm going to be doing the redstone work, where I'm actually going to put in the redstone. And right here is where I'm going to be making the bridge. The size going across can be however big you want. Um, you don't need to put the redstone underneath the ground like I did in my last one. Like, I just made this real quick just to show you. Like, you can have it above ground. Like, you're going to need about this much room. So, I just cleared out an area like this. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to make the bridge going across. Alright. It's pretty easy. Um, we're just going to be tending this giant hole as lava beneath it. You need a way across it. Yeah, no. Pretty awesome. So, as I said before, though, you're going to need to watch the XOR redstone video to fully understand it. Probably cause less um, confusion. So, what you're going to need, though, to make this video... I mean, make this video. Wow. To make this bridge is any kind of block, a pick, redstone torches, redstone dust, and, um... Redstone repeaters and switches. Or levers. Whatever you like to call them. Alright. So, what you're going to do is you're going to start making the XOR circuit. So, if, why? I don't like this. Sorry. I'm just going to use stone. So, as you have seen in my other video, you make the T, take out the torches, do one here, 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 and here. Take out dust, put one here and here. Take out levers, put them on, on the side of each of these torches. Um, take stone or any block. Skip this block. Go in here and here. Um, put torches on these. Put dust. Oop, not in the middle. And connect it like that. And these should be out, these torches. And then you want to connect these into one circuit right like that. Yeah, like that. Okay, and then what you want to do is um, actually come back here and break off these switches and then connect this redstone. So it kind of gets confusing. Connect this redstone to the, this main circuit right here. Alright? And then you can just go one off that. And then do the same on the other side. Just connect it and then go one off again. Alright, now you want to take this main line again, the one that you first started off with right here, and go make kind of little stairs things. Oh, I'm sorry. Once you make the, um, this main outline, you're also going to need trap doors. I'm sorry, I didn't mention that before. And you know, just lay these out across this. And um, this can be as really as big as you want, but I'm just going to make it this big just for the sake of confusion and video time. So then you just want to line this across like that. And then you can do the same on this side. And then bring it down like down here. Um, and connect it to that one again. So this main line. So recap, you're going to have the XOR connecting these two switches to it and then keep going off 
and then you're gonna have the main line coming down here going over this one splitting again going over this one and then over that one all right now what you're going to do is make the spots for the switches so let's make a line coming out and um you can just have like your you can still you can do all this underground if you want I'm just not like you can just hide underneath this block and have like the switch right here all right so now you can put a switch right there and then same thing on this side only this switch is going to be the way to like close it from like inside like the other side of the moat so you're going to want to bring actually let me show you how I did this on my other one just because it looks better I think I just wish that your minecraft guy could be like taller So what you're basically doing right now is you're digging your way underneath this first bridge thing. And you are going to put it down here. You can walk on it. Yeah, just like that. Um, yeah, just like that. Alright, now you're going to take your redstone, and this is that second switch still, and you're going to bring it over your little bridge here. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll fill all that in after. So now, right now, you should have your XOR um, leading to the main line that leads over these two bridges that will trigger these hatches. And then you have these this switch connected to the main line going out for your open switch and then this switch connect to the main line going out on the other side of the bridge for your closing switch alright um, so now just the, the problem right now is the redstone isn't going to reach all the way so first we're gonna work on the switch redstone uh, making it stand so since the switch you're gonna be flicking it and the power is gonna be going that way towards the XOR you should take a repeater, put it the one here, I guess. And then you can do another one. Uh, that won't work. You can do another one right there. Another one right here. And then for the main line one, I'm going to put one right here. And these ones will be aiming away from the XOR. So if you see the arrow right there, aiming away from the XOR going to the bridge different this time and then that might be enough for that and then just have to do this line again so now this one is the second switch the open switch so you'll be flicking the switch here and it's gonna be going to the XOR so yeah make sure the arrow is pointing to the XOR um all right now let me just go on this side and put the switch I think we did that. Alright, now just to see if this works. This is a lot of like trial and error. You have to make sure everything's connected and stuff. So, so as you see, it opened. So now you leave it open like this. And then you want to go up to the boat or whatever. You close it. You walk across the bridge into like your house or the other side. And then you hit it again. And as you see, they all open. Now what you can just do, just to make it better looking, is um, of course cover it all up. Um, you have to make sure you don't cut off any of the redstone. There's there's really no way of completely covering up. Like right here, you can't cover that up. The best you can do is that. You can't cover that up because you'll cut this piece off. And same thing over here. This, as I said, you can put all of that underneath the ground, basically. Um, and then this, I'm not going to cover this up, and it'll take a while. But you can just pretty much cover this entire thing up with dirt. And like that. And stuff. Just cover this entire thing up. And all you'll be able to see is the switches and stuff. And a bit of redstone. Alright, so, um, I hope this helped, and I hope you guys get to use it.
um, please comment, rate, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, PM me. Um, please go on my uh, YouTube wall and write any requests, maybe redstone requests that I may be able to help you with. Alright, thank you.